getting up to, and it must have been coming up to sort of 94, 95, and I was, you know, in my mid-40s, and it w there was a sort of call to action for anybody who's that age, you know, as the t years tick by, you say, I'm running out of time. And I knew I couldn't really be employed, and I was, you know, the ladder had kind of gone like that, and the snake like that, and I was just about here. And, and there was a real kind of call to action, and, so my, and I thought, if I don't do it now, I'm not going to, and I started looking at things, and I was actually going to do, I was, I've always been a clean climber, a mountaineer, and I was going to do indoor rock climbing walls, you know, do something you get a passion about, and, and um, that kind of fell apart, and, da -da -da, and I was sitting there, and, I, and I, my dad had always said, go and ask people's advice, you know, it's one thing he did say, it was really good, you know, cause it's amazing if you ask people's advice, everybody, look at me sitting here, you know, everybody loves to give out advice, don't they, you know, we can all solve everybody else's problems, it's our own that's a bit harder. <laughs> And um, so I did, use, I did make a thing, you know, I'm a big list man, you know, I made a list of, you know, I'm going to go and see three people this week, four people next week, five people the next week, you know, that's all I have to do is go out, fail a few times, you know, blah, blah. and I went and saw people, and I went and saw a guy called, a guy called Mr. Uehara, who was um, a Japanese guy, and I'd been in the TV business, so he'd made, he was a TV producer, actually, he made a, a show called Hit Studio, uh, the Japanese version of Top of the Pops is called Hit Studio Deluxe. <laughs> Not a lot of people know that. <laughs> and uh, um, um, here, and, and I went, and, it, and he took me out for a Japanese meal in Berkeley Square, actually. And I really like Japanese food. And I'd been in, I'd lived in Los Angeles and kind of got the taste for it. And I really, really liked it. And he took me out for this Japanese, and I was asking him what, you know, he knew me a bit and, you know, what I could do and that and the other. And, and there was a sort of moment when he was just saying, I said, what about sushi, you know? And he looked at me, and it was a sort of oriental silence. And he looked up and he said, he actually said the following words. He said, what you should do, Simon, is a conveyor belt sushi bar with girls in black PVC miniskirts. <laughs> it's like, of course. And I'd never heard those words in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and yet they it, go so it well. It just went, it went pop.